Hey guys, on this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to format any external hard drive, USB or SD. Okay, so whether you have any of those, this is the way to format them on Mac. Um, so you're going to have to look for disk utility, so just go up here, okay, and just type in disk utility. All your Macs have that, it's something preloaded. So once you open it up, you will see something like this, okay. Um, here's the external hard drive that I want to format. So don't click on the main one, okay, click on the first partition that it has, and from there you can actually erase it, okay. Um, if you click on here and you click erase, you can, but you usually don't need to unless you have a brand new external hard drive, then I, I would suggest doing that. Um, in this case, we won't do that, we'll just go to a partition, and here we're going to see journaled, okay. Um, now let's say you want to set up a time machine or something like that for your external hard drive. In that case, go to the first option, click on erase, and that means actually format on Mac, okay? So if you just want it to work on Mac, pick this option, which is the first option, okay? If you want this to work on Mac and PC, it's better to choose XFAT, okay? This lets you copy and paste large files. Now you can also pick MDOS FAT, however, that will let you also copy kind of large files but you're limited to 4 gigs so your files cannot be bigger than 4 gigs to transfer at a time so if you have a one specific file that's 10 gigs for example that's kind of odd but it does happen with movies high-end movies um, you don't want this option okay so it's better just to pick XFAT and that'll work better this will work on both Mac and PC so don't worry it's not just for PC um, so if you want it to work for both, do that. If you don't really care, if you just want it to work with Mac, which, which is what I recommend so you don't get any files corrupted or anything like that, something more safe and something that will work with Time Machine as well, you want to pick this option, okay? So once you have that option picked, just click on Erase, okay? Now this will erase and delete all your data inside your hard drive. Now if you did this by accident, you can retrieve some of your stuff unless whoever did the race in the formatting picked this option right here where it says um, secure options, security options. From there you can erase so people cannot retrieve your information, okay? Um, so if you're gonna sell your hard drive for example, you want to erase it that way so people can't retrieve it. I would also erase it twice, so once as Mac then PC, and if um, you're selling to somebody that just wants it for Mac, then you can just erase it again and make it for Mac. So that way you're a little bit more secure that they won't be able to retrieve your files, okay? Um, even if they are able to retrieve your files, it's very hard, and usually um, if certain pictures are retrieved, they're only halfway or little chunks of them or something like that, for example. Anyways, this is it for this tutorial. That's how you erase it. It will take some time depending how big your hard drive is. This one's five terabytes, so it'll take a little bit of time. As you saw, it only took a few minutes. Um, now here, okay, right here you can see, um, you can also format it again, okay, which I will do. Now you don't need to do this, you only need to format it once, and that will erase everything. I just want it to be nice and clean, and that's why I'm formatting both, the, the first partition. Now, you can partition your external hard drive, especially if you have five terabytes. I would recommend to make um, part of it at least only for PC, because right now, if you plug this into a PC, it will not recognize it. It will not read it, okay? Since it's formatted this way, so you will need, if you want to exchange files with a PC later on, who knows? You may need to do that. Um, make part of it compatible with PC. And that's what I usually do for my external hard drives, which I carry around. The ones that are just for my Mac, I just leave them as is, okay? So that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.